In English we say, I broke up. In poetry we say, a thought in your mind. Of getting back together you find, possibilities remain. A seed of hope, but a source of pain. Attached to ideas, not the person. Future dreams now feel uncertain. Conflict brews inside your heart. One part clings, one wants to part. Invested in a life you planned, all slipped right through your hand. The truth can hurt, but also set free. If only we would accept what we truly see. The truth is complex, but simple too. It's felt in your heart when you hear what's true. A breakup, not just about me and you, but the ideas we create and cling to. The truth to anyone who's going through a breakup or has been going through a breakup and wants to know why the truth behind his or her feelings. I'm sure this video will be different than any video you have watched because I'm trying to find the truth. By the end of this video you will understand, hopefully, why that is so different. By the way, if you're new here, I'm Jordan, 23 years old, did over four and a half million dollars in revenue, hired over 50 people, only to find out that those things don't matter to me. What I care about is the truth. So what is the truth about a breakup? Well, it's very complex. Let's start with the first part that I think applies to anyone who has been or is going through a breakup. The idea that is alive in your mind that you could come back together, even though it's very, very small sometimes, depending on the person, the situation, sometimes you create, it is there that ID and your mind loves that ID. We could go into why that is, but it's I think very important to understand the truth that the ID you could get back together is there. Even though he or she already has a new partner, even though there's something else at play, the ID is there. Now why does this matter? Because what happens when subconsciously that ID is there and you basically think about it? Could it be that there's conflict because of that ID? Conflict, inner conflict, because one part of you doesn't want to be with him or her, but there is the ID that you could. Some parts of you entertain the ID of getting back together, right? Let's not be playing around the bushes. There are some parts that you really enjoy about getting back together, whether it's the sexual aspect, whether it's the opposite of being alone, the fear or the actual feelings you feel right now of being alone, or the fear of not finding someone better. There could be so many things, but some part of you likes that ID, which causes conflict because another part of you wants to move on. But there is a bigger thing at play here because is getting back together the solution? I'm sure you do not understand what I mean. Is getting back together the solution? So then we must first define the problem. And you could say, well, there's no problem because everyone will die. But this is not the reality you live in. You feel pain or you feel unwanted emotions and you want them to stop. So what is the problem here? I'm not sure what it is for you. I'm making assumptions here. So please ask yourself, what is really the problem here? I mean, why are you watching this video? Especially if you're going through a breakup right now, because I'm sure there is something. <laughs> there's few people, well, I've never met one, who are at peace anytime, even going through a break. And of course there are exceptions, especially for the one who breaks up with the other. But let's talk about you. Is the problem really that you separated and perhaps the solution to get back together or the solution that you should move on, which is very vague, not practical at all. Or is it that you want to not feel bad, that you just do not like the emotion you feel, perhaps right now? If so, the truth can set you free. If there is still a part of you that entertains the idea of getting back together, it is very likely it is due to attachment that you are attached to this person. Let's try to explain what I mean with that word because nobody seems to do that. Attachment seems to be a word that few people understand. What does it mean to be attached to your ex? Are you attached to a random girl or man you see on the street? Random but attractive. But are you attached to that person? Let's say you start a conversation together. You give a compliment, you ask for a number and you continue shopping. Do you now feel attached? Perhaps attached to the idea of going on a date together? Let's continue. You get home, you text him or her. It leads to asking him or her out on a date. Are you now attached to this person? Probably now attached to the idea of going on a date because you have not yet gotten a response. And you are now invested into this idea of going on a date together, of perhaps being together someday. This is really interesting, isn't it? I find it interesting because this all happens without your input. It seems like there's an image created when you first see that person of perhaps already being together. Maybe not that visual yet, but you like the idea of being together. And it seems like as time goes on, you are more and more invested into all of these ideas of your mind. So you start dating, everything goes great. You end up sharing the bad, 
continue dating. It seems like you get more and more invested into more and more ideas. At some point, you even start to, and maybe very quickly, especially if you're already older, get invested in the idea of having kids, perhaps getting married, perhaps, or going on a holiday, buying your house together. So are you invested into this person or are you invested into the ideas where that person plays a role? It's not about him or her. It's about the ideas you've created for yourself about the future that haven't happened yet. That you're so invested into these ideas because you have thought about them for a long time and you really enjoy the idea of them coming to fruition. But now that is gone or there is still a possibility, which is why there's conflict inside of you because you love the feeling of those ideas, the anticipation of the ideas actually happening in the future. And there's still a chance because you could get back together so could it be that you do not actually like the person that much anymore but that you just really like the ideas i'm asking you i'm not suggesting anything do not believe me but if you felt something about what i just said that's the truth the truth is always felt what else is true that as long as you let these ideas come up and invest in them that you will feel the pain when your investment decreases in value just like the stock market i think it is a very good example and the question therefore more becomes do you accept it? Because these are the consequences. As long as you keep investing into all these partner IDs and all these things you see online on social media about marriage, relationship, blah, blah, blah. That as long as you keep investing all of these IDs that you will feel bad every time when the stock market drops. Maybe it's a little bit and just look back at your relationship. Maybe you were in a fight. You felt it. Didn't feel good. It was a small drop in the stock market. And of course, the big drop of not being together anymore. You feel it. Most people can't bear the pain they feel. Do you accept this? Why do I say this and not go meditate so you feel better? Why do I ask you to accept this instead of telling you how to feel better or how to get over a breakup? Because it's not the truth. Only the truth works. Just look at your own life. Meditation only worked during the session. Maybe an hour later. And be honest with yourself any video you watched about relationships or breakups did they work i mean you still feel pain probably and the truth is very complex i've only talked about it for a little bit i think i hit some important points that apply for some people but it's very complex so go into it yourself and if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, physically or virtually i'm sure you will find a way to email me but i only work with people too well money is not a problem to anyone else you can get exclusive access for free to my writing somewhere below and perhaps the most important thing you can take away from this so ask yourself what is the truth for me how to know if you have found it it's a good question if the same thing happens but it no longer changes your emotions i think that's a very accurate way to know for yourself if you found the truth and maybe you leave this video thinking maybe even commenting this isn't practical and that just means you're not serious because if your house was on fire you didn't need to find a tutorial or a method online or a manual from ikea on how to find your way out this just means that you're not serious about it you do not want it to stop enough i mean you don't like it but that's something else and that's another truth now do you accept that talk soon